All right, everybody, we have something here brand new to the channel today and something I've been waiting for for such a long time. These are the Velo 6 disc wheel set by Elite Wheels. I've had Elite Wheels on the channel before and they're 50D and 65D, but this is something very new to them. This is their road version of their six spoke wheel that is very popular by them. If you guys did not know, they actually make a, another six spoke wheel that was mainly designed for gravel and mountain bike. But this wheel set right here is here to compete against all these six spoke wheels out there in the market. And they come in at such a competitive price. Uh, as you guys know, I absolutely love bicycles. Doing custom builds, this is what this channel is built on. I love to build up all high-end builds, do something crazy, do something different. And this wheel set obviously stands alone, stands apart, and it's something fresh. Uh, I only had one bicycle on the channel with this kind of six spoke design. So um, I'm very excited for it. This is just an unboxing. I have not ridden these wheels yet, but they have been in trial with the company. So we'll go over all the details, all the tech spec. But you guys will be glad to know that usually whenever you see a wheel set like this kind of design, this six spoke full carbon fiber wheel set like this, it's usually a lot of money. Competitors will have it out there for 3000 3500 But Elite Wheels has these wheel sets for the pair for $1,300. And they have it in a disc brake option only in either SRAM or Shimano, and the specs are very well on here. The idea behind this wheel set is that it's supposed to be a very aerodynamic wheel set, and then also you can use it for TTs and triathlons, but the idea is that it's a 50 millimeter deep dish wheel, and then with the six spokes in there being a little bit of a tapered aerodynamic, that it's supposed to be, this is their words, not mine, minimizing coefficient drag by reducing the frontal area and also while doing that, it's supposed to give it a little bit more of an aerodynamic effect, but help with crosswinds. So you'll see this kind of setup on a TT bike or even just in our situation where we have a lot of crosswinds here in Florida. Because there's not as much spokes on here and there's less stuff for a crosswind to hit, that's supposed to give you a little bit more comfort and control on the front end. But in this video, we'll do our all unboxing video, show you guys the new ratchet system they have inside of here. Talk about their 7075 aluminum hubs that are supposed to be very strong. That way it's supposed to be a very stiff ride and another thing about this bicycle wheel is that it is a full one-piece carbon fiber shell and that they say this is a much stiffer platform than your traditional spoke setup so we'll talk about that as well talk about their brand new internal rim width design that they change it to a 21 millimeter internal width design to make it a little bit more of a modern trend and it still has a hooked on there as well it is not a hookless version so that is awesome and we'll also talk about competitors and at the end of the video I will also mount them on a BMC bicycle here that I think will pair very nicely here. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so I know this wheel set's not gonna be for everyone. Obviously, this is a specific type of wheel set that is not its normal traditional look to a normal bicycle. But for me, being around bicycles so often and seeing the same exact thing over and over and over again, I like change. I like different. I like OSPWs. I like the, like, the cool looking bikes that are have some different quirky thing to them. So. I was very excited when Elite Wheels said they have this coming out because I was trying to get in contact with them for the longest time about their gravel group set because I saw so many other people do very similar builds with a gravel wheel set just because they wanted this look. So this being a perfect 50 millimeter deep dish wheel and kind of have this aerodynamic look to it, it's, it's literally a great wheel set for anyone who wants an aero look to the bicycle. And then, like I said, the price point being $1,300 and I will have a code when this uh, video releases. It's going to be for the Black Friday sale. It's a very big discount. Uh, GC hyphen BF. And uh, it's going to give you a pretty solid discount there. And like I mentioned before, this is an unboxing video. I have not ridden these wheel sets, but they've released this wheel set and they have done some things to make sure that it is a secure wheel set to ride. And I will talk about some of the things I don't like on this wheel set because uh, we'll talk about it in just a second. But let's go ahead and take a look at the internal rim width on here because this was a big thing. On their older wheel sets, I believe it was like a 20.5. So we're gonna go to the 20 and a internal wheel set is gonna be right there. 20 point, yeah. 20.96 I was reading that. So right at 21. Um, and again, I've ridden Elite Wheels now for, I rode their 50 Ds, I rode their 65 Ds. And I absolutely love them. They have the ceramic bearings in there. They were a very lightweight wheel. They had carbon spokes. They were a great looking wheel set on here. Uh, but this wheel set is really badass. Here they have a 36 tooth ratchet inside of here paired with a aluminum hub. 
And this is what everyone kind of looks at. They wanna make sure how this fits over time, how long this will stay in place. This is a CNC'd uh, alloy or aluminum hub inside of this carbon shell in here, so they wanna make sure this thing works. But the hub sounds absolutely great inside here. Ceramic bearings, very nice. I'll give you guys a little free of bias on this right now. And they look very badass. They are tubeless compatible, so they give you the valves installed as well. You hear a little piece of carbon inside here. Something's in shake inside here. We got to get that thing out of there. Uh, they give you the tubeless valves installed here as well. Um, and it is tubeless ready. There are no spoke holes on here. Very similar to another big brands out there. And then ever since, <laughs> ever since pretty much DT Swiss patent has run out, a lot of these kind of uh, affordable wheel set companies coming out have basically just copy that exact design here and they work flawlessly i mean literally dt swiss paved the way now you got a 36 tooth ratch inside of here that's very similar you can swap that out to a 54 tooth uh very easy to work on and like i said you can get any 11 speed shimano road and sram or you can get a xcr version as well and the hubcap just pops on off so very easy for service as well But my biggest thing is going to see how this holds up over time. If a bigger guy like me gets on top of here and rides it for a long period of time, how this will work. Now, Elite Wheels also does have a three-year warranty for the wheel set. And I believe they do have a crash replacement as well. And I have been in works with people who had issues with their other wheels, their 50Ds and 65Ds. And uh, they were able to get resolved on a couple small issues. So I do know that Elite Wheels has a great um, team over there. And this is the front loader here. Looks very nice right there. Looks very nice right there. Nice end caps with some little O-rings in there. Mm -hmm. Now, the things I don't like about this wheel set. I will say that Elite Wheels did a great job at this price point. This is the this is definitely the cheapest six-spoke carbon fiber deep dish wheel on the market. Six-spoke carbon fiber wheel on the market for sure $1,300 is great it's a great entry point for someone who wanted to get this kind of look and maybe this wheel set was out of their price point for before but typically that's why I told the people at Elite Wheels is that whenever you see this wheel set you usually think one thing you think lightweight and this is what this wheel set's pretty much branded as you get this whole full piece carbon fiber wheel it's supposed to be tremendously lightweight yada 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 all this good stuff but this is where this wheel set is uh, kind of lacking in it's not anywhere in competitiveness of a 1300 gram wheel set, not a 1400 gram wheel set, not even a 1500, 1500 gram wheel set. It is 1,600 and I believe 50 grams, which will weigh the wheels right here, which is definitely a little bit of a chunker. Now, again, granted it is a 50 mil um, dish wheel. It has their six spokes of aerodynamics of their carbon fiber spokes in there. So there is some things there, but I, I kind of went around the internet to check to see other brands. And like I said, Bike Ahead Composites has an exact same wheel set in the 50 millimeter. And their wheel set was right around 1,450. So not too bad. And that wheel set's three grand. Um, and other wheel sets out there, like the Roval CLX 2s, uh, a 50 front, 60 rear, are about 1,500 um, grams. Uh, so, so it is 100 grams probably heavier than all the other wheel sets out there. But... I mean, I think that you're buying this wheel set traditionally for a style and then also the stiffness of the wheel set and maybe you're trying to uh, get a little bit more control on the front end. But we'll go ahead and weigh this thing right now. So right now we can see the scale is at zero. I'll make sure the glare's on there. So we have this with tubeless valve. So right now the rear wheel weighs in at 859 grams. 858 grams that is with the tubeless valve on there there is no rim tape on here and then put the front on there 1636 grams so like i said this is a little bit of a chunky wheel set it's not this lightweight crazy lightweight deep dish air wheel that we've all been looking at for a while this is definitely more of you're buying this for a style and performance factor I can't speak on how these wheels are perform under load because of the fact that I have not ridden them yet. This is just the unboxing video, but I will have a follow-up video because I'm putting on a BMC bike, which we'll do right now.
And then just before mounting these wheels on the bicycle, I want to show you guys some of the kind of, I would just not say imperfections of the carbons, but something that doesn't just look smooth on here. So obviously the wheel set again, you can see like this little piece right there and there. There's just like little small bits and pieces on the wheel itself that just kind of sticks out to you that doesn't look smooth. I don't know what the finishing process is for this full carbon fiber. But you can kind of see like these little dots and speckles in there. Uh, also by one of these points right here. That's very cool. You can, that, that, that right there, you can see like the carbon layup where they meet and connect the points, which is pretty badass. That's very cool. Um, no, I was on this wheel over here though. See like right here, this is on the front wheel. It has like a little bit of a mark right there. And then also right here as well. So I do expect, oh, maybe that's just grease. But I do expect these wheels to have some kind of, I mean, it's a lot of gloss in here and it's all a full carbon fiber. So I'm sure there's going to be some kind of imperfections on there. Um, but do I do, do I think that it's going to compromise the wheel set? No, it doesn't look like that. I've seen other companies, I've seen other big, big name companies have that kind of raw carbon finish. So this basically is just the unfinished carbon layup of the frame or the wheel set. And then they just put a clear cut over it, a clear coat over it. But I do like the redesign of the elite name wheel on here. I think it looks way better than that drive logo they had on the, the drive for the D's. I think they did a really good job with the elite logo right there. It's a badass looking wheel. Let's go ahead and put this on a BMC. And another thing, guys, about those wheels while I'm picking out the tires I'm going to choose for this bike, um, which I'll probably do these ones, the Pirellis. Um, I will say this. With those six spokes as well, yes, you don't have to worry about maintenance of truing your wheel, which is great and awesome. But downside is, is that if you do hit any kind of bump or they do go out true for any reason, that is it. There is nothing else you can do about that. Uh, they're pretty much done for. I've seen good and bad of this. I've sold the Synchros Silver Tin, the, uh, the one-piece mountain bike wheel. I've seen them go out true for little to small reasons, and I've seen some that have just hold true after taking a beating. Uh, so they're literally just held together as is like that. So there is no truing it. There's no worry about breaking spokes and replacing spokes and getting a true job done. But uh, if they do go out true for whatever reason, the wheel is shot and you will have to reach out to the manufacturer to fix it. So, And the tubes I'm going to be putting in are the Ride Now TPU Ultralight Tubes, 19 grams. This is my favorite upgrade on a bicycle. TPU, TPU tubes to me has changed the game and changed my riding experience 100%. I think it's one of the best value per performance you get out of cycling. Hold on, I got blowing up real quick. Oh, oh. But yeah, I think that a TPU tube gives you the most performance in terms of rotating mass, in terms of how much you pay for it, it is a complete different ride from what uh, I used to ride the Butyl tubes. If you're a tubeless guy, sure, stick with tubeless, but I am on the TPU kick right now, hardcore. So, uh, yeah, if, you ever, if you're still riding Butyl, either pick tubeless or, or TPU, but get out of Butyl. There's no point to ride anymore. People are so worried about the... Uh, the TPU gang about what's gonna happen with them. But they're so fragile. I'm 200 pounds. I have them on all my bikes. And uh, I absolutely love them, so. So I recommend them highly. I mean, look how rough I am with this tube inside here right now. And there it is, <laughs> holy shit, it looks so good. The gloss, and I chose this team machine uh, the color on there to match it because it looks so perfect with it, man. The hub sounds phenomenal. Let me get you guys a free bias on test. I'm going to take it out of this light as well and put it on the table. But, oh, my gosh, it looks so badass, dude. All right, here comes a free bias on test on the Elite Velo 6 disc on the BMC SLR Team Machine. Oh, my God, it sounds so bad. It's a 36-tooth ratchet inside here. And the wheel spin looks so badass.
so sick. All right, so there you have it. The wheels mounted and installed on my demo bike that I'll be riding for a while. I will test it out on this bicycle, but man, it looks so good on there. I will have pictures of this up on my Instagram, you guys. I have a link down to below where I'll get some pics of this thing in the sun, but the color match is perfect, and I love this design. This, this It just looks so different and so unique. Really badass. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. This is the review of the, or the unboxing, I'm sorry, of the Elite Wheels Velo 6 disc wheel set. The wheel set is $1,300. They should go live on November 24th for Black Friday. I will have a code down below to give you guys a Black Friday discount code on these wheels and everything on the website as well. Uh, GC-BF, which I'll put down in the link below as well. But man, it is so, so cool looking. Very, very nice. Gorgeous looking bicycle, man. It's so badass. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.